Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another fashion haul for y'all today. So this is kind of like a continuation of the last one that I posted semi-recently. So I've got some things from Target and Taylor Express, Shein and Romwe. So I've got some fun things to share. So let's get to it. So first off, I've got a couple of things from Romwe. They sent me a couple of items. They let me pick out two things. So the first thing that I picked out is this dress. This is what the pattern looks like. It's kind of a midi maxi sort of a length to it. And it has slits in the front. It's really, really cute. It's got a slit here and then a slit on the other side. So it's almost got like this like split panel sort of a looking thing like on the legs in the front. Really cute. And it's comfortable on the off the shoulder situation. Like I think off the shoulder is so cute, but sometimes it's so uncomfortable but this really does stay put i was not um annoyed by it it was really really comfortable it's soft it's flowy great for summer next thing i picked out is this shirt and i think mallory might have this shirt um it looks really similar to one that she has that i really really love so this is one that i picked and it's kind of like a cold shoulder and um it's got like these little like buttony front details i just love it because it's like i love that look of a guy's shirt pattern plus like a girly cut to it. So I feel like this kind of has that with the interesting neckline, the little tie here, the front, and then the cold shoulder sort of situation. The only negative I have to say about this is, and it's not really a negative, it's just like an info about it, is I think it's 100% cotton maybe. It just seems like it wrinkles really easily. Like when it came in, it was pretty wrinkly. I haven't steamed it, I probably need to but it just seems like one of those shirts that, you know, I'm gonna have to like really steam it often, which is not my favorite thing to do. Um, but I like the shirt enough that I'm willing to do it. So super duper cute and their prices are crazy affordable. And then I also got to pick out a couple of things from Shein. So that was really, really sweet. So thank you to Romway and Shein for letting me try your goodies. So from Shein, I picked out this skirt. This is really cute too, because I feel like it's a combo of the guyish look that it looks like, like, a guy's tie I tied this terribly but like it looks like a man's tie but then it's a really cute skirt again the only negative is it seems like it's gonna wrinkle easily and it's a pretty thin sort of a fabric like it it almost feels like a man's tie like the fabric of a man's tie but like a thin one so it's kind of thin fabric that seems like it's going to get wrinkly pretty quickly it's already wrinkly um, but it's really, really pretty. Like I love the cut of it. I think it has really nice detail to it and it looks cute on. Um, I don't remember what size I got in this, but it's a little bit, um, I wish it like was a little bit tighter so that it would fit me a little bit higher on the waist, but I still think it's cute. I'm just going to have to steam it, which I'd rather steam than iron. Anybody like that? Anybody else hate ironing more than steaming? Not a fan of either, but I'll pick steaming over ironing. And then I also picked out this dress. This is gorgeous. This came in a bunch of different patterns and this is the one that I chose. So it's kind of like a V-neck in the front and then it has buttons all the way down. They're actually like working buttons, like almost like a wedding dress or something. And it's almost a maxi. Like I wish it were a little bit longer on me. Um, I'd say it goes to about my ankle, which is kind of a little bit of an awkward length because it's sort of like not midi, but not maxi, like almost maxi, but I still really do love it. And it's super soft. I'm sure that it's like mostly rayon, I would guess, because it's really, really soft. Um, looks a little wrinkly, but it kind of hides it a little bit better because of the pattern. Um, and also, I mean rayon just gets wrinkly, which I don't mind because it's so, so soft. It has like a vintage-y vibe to it. So this is one of my favorite things. So of the Shein and Romway stuff, I would say um, the two dresses are my favorites. I really like the other two items, but I just feel like the fabric of the dresses are going to be easier to kind of like not have to do the ironing as often. And then I ordered a couple things from Shein myself. So first off is this skirt which when it first came in, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of stripes. But then I tried it on and this skirt is so cute. Like the cut of it and the detail is super duper cute. So it's kind of like this 
roughly panel across this way and then a roughly panel across the other way. So it kind of like lays over in the front and is almost like a maxi, but I don't know, like a, a dancer sort of a look. It just has a really fun look to it. It's got a little tie that you can like, um, you know, tie it around. It's just super cute. This does seem like it's gonna get a little wrinkly, but not as bad as the other two. So I think this one will be a little bit easier to deal with, but oh my gosh, I love the cut of it. I love the ruffles, super duper cute. And then this, oh my goodness, this is my favorite thing of all. Probably one of my top three of this whole haul. I absolutely love this skirt. So it's a blue gingham and this is a midi length. It's just so retro and adorable, really nice thick fabric to it. It has pockets. What else could you ask for in a skirt? It's just so vintagey and adorable. Fits kind of like um, tight around my waist. So it just has that like fit and flare sort of a look to it. Really feminine. Nice detail of like the clasp is the um, little hook and eye closure and then a zipper. So I mean, really well made. Really, really nice skirt. I just absolutely love this. Looks like a little like a little uh, blanket for a picnic. Super cute. Then I have a couple things from Target. So I don't know if I'm gonna still be able to find this stuff online because I got this a little while ago, but hopefully I can still find it. Um, this is a romper. This is from Exhilaration. Love, love, love the look of this romper. It's an off the shoulder. The only negative I have to say about this is that it drives me crazy. Like I feel like I cannot move my arms. So it's really like tight around the off the shoulder thing. So it like boings, like bounces up. Like when I raise my arms, it just boing and then it's up on my shoulders. So it's a little bit irritating, but it looks so cute and the shorts aren't super short. So I still love it. I just kind of have to like be a little bit annoyed with it when I'm wearing it, but it's so cute, you know. Sometimes you make sacrifices for fashion. That's one of the cases. Then I also got this dress from Target. This is from the brand Who What Wear, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Such a cute brand. They have the most adorable stuff. So this is kind of like a 90s feeling dress. So it has buttons down the front and then it has little openings on the side, little cute details, little tassels. Um, I don't think that they really like, well, maybe they tighten. Yeah, they do tighten a little bit, but they don't make like a big difference. So just kind of that added little detail and then it goes about midi length and it's just really soft and comfortable, really flowy, nice and cool for the hot summer. It's just super duper adorable. So I love the details of, of this and it just has that like 90s vibe, which I absolutely love. Then a couple things from Express. So I got this shirt, love this detail. It kind of has this like really neat edgy vibe to it. I love the little like kind of rivet sort of detail there. It just is a rocker-ish looking shirt. I love it. Came in a lot of different colors. Um, I was debating getting the black, but I have a lot of black. I always kind of go for black, so I decided to go for the blue, which is my secondary I go for. I have a lot of black, but then I also have a lot of blue. Those are my favorite fashion colors to wear. And then this dress, oh my goodness, this is probably like really pointless to show you on the hanger because it like just look at the picture it's pretty much like pajamas but in a really beautiful cut dress so it's a maxi and then it has a slit down the side really pretty slit and then it is um basically like i don't know sort of spaghetti strap sort of sleeveless it's just kind of like thinner straps so I can wear a regular bra, but I just have to like really like keep it in the right place or I just show my bra straps and don't worry about it. You know what I mean? And then it has this really cute little um, detail, like a V-neck sort of a detail um, at the front. So it just literally feels like pajamas and it's that kind of like t-shirt sort of material. So it's thicker. So it's not that sort of, I feel like a lot of maxis that are just a solid pattern and or lack thereof pattern, just a solid color. I feel like they can a lot of times be that sort of fabric that just shows everything. You can see your bra lines, you can see your panty lines, any, you know, bumps or whatever. 
you can just see it's like very like form fitting and not very forgiving. So this is like a thicker sort of a material. So it really does like just look very nice hanging on the body. So it's just a beautiful dress and super duper comfy. I love, love, love this skirt from Ann Taylor. Hopefully I can still find it online for you. So it is kind of like a ripped bottom. I love denim skirts. I love denim everything. I've loved denim skirts for forever. Since I was a kid, I loved denim skirts. I, I just love denim anything. So this is another denim skirt. I have quite a few denim skirts, but I love them and I wear them and they're just some of my favorite fashion items. So it's got a little bit of distressing and it's like, um, like a, what's it called? Like a stacked sort of a hem. I don't know what the word is. It has a name for it, but basically it's not even. The front is a little bit shorter than the back, which is I think a really cute detail. And I always want a little bit more length in the back than the front, you know, because you got your booty. So you need a little bit more length in the back. So really, really cute. Kind of has that edgy distress vibe to it. Soft, nice denim. A couple of things from Nordstrom. So you've probably seen me wear this in a blog post, in videos, because I love this shirt. It's a ruffly top. So it's a, like a cold shoulder, sort of a cut to it. Nice, thick, um, basically sleeveless top to it so you can still wear a regular bra and not worry about it really showing ever because it's nice and thick. Um, one thing to note about this that I would recommend is I sized up because when I tried on my regular size, it was kind of like clinging a little bit and just sort of looking weird and bumpy across the chest. So I think sizing up kind of helps with that because it sort of just like lays and then it's really nice and flattering. So that's something that I would recommend. But it came in black and gray and I went with the gray. Super duper soft, like feels like pajamas once again. It's just soft and cozy, but cute. I love the ruffles to it. It's just adorable. It's one of those shirts that you can either just wear it by itself as kind of a statement shirt, or you can also pair it with fun accessories also. So just a good staple sort of an item. And that shirt is the brand Love Fire, and I got it in like the junior section, so just FYI on that. And then I got this dress, looks like this. Came in several different colors. This is by the brand Leith, L-E-I-T-H. And when I first tried this on, while well, I was looking around in the section and the guy helping me really highly recommended this dress. He was like, have you tried on that dress? And I'm like, no, because typically these kind of like straight bodycon sort of dresses, I'm not usually a fan of how they look on me. I just think that they're a little bit too, I don't know, too tight and just not that flattering. But this one has the ruching on the side and I could have gone with an extra small, but I sized up to a small just because I felt a lot more comfortable in it. Um, the, the extra small fit, but it was more like the typical bodycon dresses where I just, it was just too tight on me. I just didn't like how it looked. So I went with a small and I really, really like this because it's soft, it's comfortable, it's still straight and it's still form fitting, but not super duper tight. And I think the ruching just really is super flattering. It just kind of gives that sort of more hourglass shape and um, kind of like hides things. And it's just really pretty. I really liked this color too. He recommended this color. I was gonna try on a different one. He was like, you should try on the brown. I'm like, really? But I love it. He was totally dead on. So love this dress. And then last thing, I have this maxi from Chic Wish. So I'd seen several, several bloggers posting pictures of maxis from this website and also middies. They have really cute middies too. So I ended up doing the custom length and I think I did a 44 inch custom length maxi skirt and it's really long, like way too long. So I don't know how I was that off with my measurements, but I have to wear it with like wedges and even then I have to wear it really high on my waist. So I may actually end up having to go have it altered to make it a little bit shorter. And I'm 5'6", so um, yeah. I don't really know how to recommend the length for you. I'm not really sure what I should have gone with. Maybe like a 42, 41, something like that. I'm not really sure. Because the 44 is too long, but I really didn't want it too short. So that's kind of why I went with that one. And 
I guess, wrong. But it's beautiful. It's like a really nice, like, flowy um, feel and look to it. They have gorgeous patterns in it. There's this one. There's like a peachy color, a more blue color, um, a yellow. I mean, just beautiful patterns to it. Just very, very feminine and like a, I don't know, princess fairy sort of a feeling to it. Just really, really pretty. I just guessed wrong on the link. All right, guys, those are all the goodies that I have to show you today. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what fashion goodies you've been picking up recently or what old favorites from your closet have you been grabbing and wearing and really enjoying. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.